is a you have multiple interfaces that are that you see here. This is what we what we call it by the driver fleet manager view, right? This tells you that the current state of charge, the, the battery is charged at 67%, and that tells you how many miles you can do with that. Below here is the current station. So we've been charging about 12.3 kilowatt hour, and we've been discharging 12.2 kilowatt hour. When you do grid services, you usually don't go just one way. There are services where maybe you're gonna push energy back to the grid, but in some of the services, you might actually be paid to absorb energy, right? If there is a surplus on the grid at that time, you, you take that energy in order to keep the grid balanced, which is the most important. And then here, this is the total perspective. Obviously, the, uh, you know, since the bus was plugged, this is, this is a load ultimately, right? You drive around, you use some energy, so you always consume more than you are pushing to the grid because some of that energy is being used to drive around. So this is more the, the fleet side, the fleet manager side. Now, this is the grid side, right? Um, so that tells you, for example, the, the purple line here is the signal that we are sending to the to the bus. Usually what happens is you receive a signal from the grid, the platform is going to decide on how to dispatch that signal across the large amount of vehicles, and then that signal is the one that dispatched speci specifically for that vehicle. And uh, so right now we are, the, the plus here is when we are discharging, minus is actually charging. This is a grid perspective, right? This is how we are interfacing with, with our grid partners. So you can see the green lights going from the bus to the charging station here. This is showing that the bus is actually discharging. And by the way, while we were talking, we were actually going back and forth charging, discharging, providing grid services. Uh, and so then you have uh, the benefits outside of you know, providing the grid services. Actually, you have, you're monitoring a lot of information uh, you know, from the, the infrastructure perspective, from the charging station perspective. We are monitoring the charging station on a second by second basis. And therefore, a lot of people are concerned also to switch over to electric because if something breaks down or you know, when we are not familiar, it, it's harder to convince people. With this platform, we are monitoring the uh, infrastructure on a second by second and therefore we know when there is a problem. And if there is a problem, then we can try to fix it remotely uh, or in the worst case, we have to send somebody and get it fixed, right? And so this is really the full perspective of the fleet manager, the service, the grid services that you're providing, and as well as monitoring the infrastructure to help the fleet managers keep their, their vehicles up and running 99.9% you know, .9 of the time. So I don't want to go too deep into how, you know, the, the type of service we can do, but you know, we all understand if you put solar, it's you know, on the roof here, you would have to integrate the buses with the solar, you get optimize the use of that energy. Uh, the grid around here might get saturated at a certain time, so we could help keeping that grid balance. And it's variable. It's variable for society, it's variable for, for the utilities also in how we can work together. One of the big benefits of vehicle to grid is that as we put more and more electric vehicles on the grid, um, you know, one approach is to scale everything, to scale the distribution system. That becomes very, very expensive, and the cost of energy would become prohibitive if you were to do that. The advantage of vehicle to grid is you can optimize the peak and the average to be as close as possible, which drives towards equity. Energy cost equity is a very important point as we go into uh, EV rollout. And then finally, again, reducing the cost of ownership allows for everybody to adopt electric vehicles.